Here's the thing. I'm gonna do my very best not to overhype this film, but this is a movie I have been hyped for for months. I first saw Hitman in a last minute change of plans to catch it before I left the Toronto International Film Festival. And y'all, that was one of the best decisions I have ever made at a film festival. I enjoyed it so much in Toronto that when I went to Sundance, I almost missed my flight home to watch it a second time with the festival audience. The Q&A after with director Richard Linklater and lead actor Glenn Powell was just an added bonus to that experience. And in its theatrical release, you know I had to find the nearest cinema in Seattle, an hour and a half away from where I live, by the way, to watch it one more time in a theater. So I've gone out of my way a number of times to see this film, and every single time, it's been worth going out of my way for. And now it's coming to Netflix, and I strongly recommend you set aside some time to see it for yourself. Why? Because there are very good reasons this was one of the most sought after films at the biggest film festivals. Like seriously, so, so good. I figured Apple Pie is a good companion to this review. And Widow Jane seemed like a good companion to Apple Pie. So today I'm sipping on Widow Jane Lucky 13 and reviewing the film Hitman. Oscar-nominated director Richard Linklater's sunlit neo-noir stars Glenn Powell as a straight-laced professor, Gary Johnson, who moonlights as a fake hitman for the New Orleans Police Department. Gifted at inhabiting different guises and personalities to catch hapless people hoping to bump off their enemies, Gary descends into morally dubious territory when he finds himself attracted to one of those potential criminals, a beautiful young woman named Madison. As Madison falls for one of Gary's hitman personas, the mysteriously sexy Ron, their steamy affair sets off a chain reaction of play acting, deception, and escalating stakes. Man oh man, where do I start with this? Hitman plays a lot with the concept of identity and self-image. Early on it asks, what if yourself is a construct, a role you play every day? And then it engages conversation about whether someone can change their personality and how that might work. I know it sounds like a boring psychology lecture, but being that Gary is a college professor, it makes total sense that these psychology questions and principles bleed out of his classroom and directly into the fabric of the story at hand. And that is just one of the many things that's so perfect about Linklater's script. It's a thought experiment in practice. Gary donning all of these identities is just role playing, but the more he plays Ron around Madison, the more he becomes Ron. And there's a point when you start to realize that suddenly Gary has become the character that Ron is playing instead of the other way around. And there's so much entertainment to be had as the deceptions get more and more intricate. Powell's character hitmen disguises drive most of the comedy in the first half of the film. But in the second half, this toggling between being a dorky undercover agent and a suave, sexy hitman generates plenty of comedic moments and awkwardly unraveling situations. It really keeps you engaged, wondering what's gonna happen next. And it's highly unlikely that you'll guess where the story is gonna go. But ultimately, Hitman thrives on the chemistry between our two lead actors, Glenn Powell and Adria Arona. From the moment they meet each other in the film, it's captivating how perfectly they play off of each other. And yes, as you might have heard or may have guessed, this film is extremely sexy. It should be a given when you put pretty people like Glenn Powell and Adria Arona together in a film, there's going to be incredible sex appeal involved. But this is elevated sex appeal. Sex and attraction in this film isn't exclusively for the sake of having eye candy on the screen. There is a natural animalistic purpose to their relationship a raw attraction that leads both characters to abandon logic for the sake of instinctual, passionate behavior. An expression of id that plays a significant part in that psychology lesson bleeding directly into the fabric of the script like I had mentioned earlier. Bet your psychology doesn't sound so boring anymore, does it? Their chemistry in conjunction with this story is a recipe for maximum entertainment, the likes of which we don't often see executed this well in romantic comedies. And by the way, all of this culminates to a scene that is so perfectly orchestrated, audiences literally cheered and clapped for it at the screenings that I went to. It's all a perfect setup for an exciting comedy film. Gary becomes Madison's fantasy man when he plays Ron. Madison is his fantasy woman. And together, the two of them are our fantasy romantic couple. This is easily the best comedy of the year in my book, a bona fide crowd pleaser that you should not miss. And I mean, seriously, where do I have to sign to formalize my stamp of approval for this film? 
Now, listen, there's a whole rant I could go off about regarding my feelings for Netflix picking up theatrically worthy films. Because honestly, it is criminal, absolutely criminal, the bare minimum treatment Hitman got for its theatrical release. But I digress. That's a rant for another time. If you really want to hear it, drop a comment below and maybe I'll make another video about that. Those who had the chance to see Hitman in theaters though are very lucky to have done so. For anyone who didn't get that chance, Hitman remains a must watch film that I highly recommend you see ASAP. This movie is a good movie. This whiskey is a good whiskey. And yeah, all pie is good pie. Hitman goes to Netflix on Friday, June 7th. If you've seen it, drop a comment and let me know what you thought about this film. Follow me on Letterboxd to see my rating for Hitman and visit For Real to read more reviews from me and my awesome team of writers over at thisisforreal.com. This is Real Buzzed. Be wise, drink responsibly, and if you like this video and you want to see more, hit like and subscribe.